It's a noise around college football that most people can't stand. It's the acquired sound, mainly in the city of Starkville. But if you're going to that September 3rd season opener down at Davis Wade Stadium between the U of M and Mississippi State, you better get used to this. That's right, because the Cowbells, a big focus of Ryan Silverfield and his coaching staff in the lead up to kick off with that Cowbell sound ringing through the speakers of practice this morning. Support staff ringing Cowbells on the field all with the goal of giving the Tigers an earful preparation for what they can expect in Starkville. They didn't have to worry about the Cowbells in last year's win over state because the game was played here in Memphis. Really annoying. Yeah, terribly annoying. Yeah, uh, no. Um, I, I'm just such a fan of college football, you know, that it's just one of those traditions that remains and, and it is what it is. It ain't going away. I grew up in sort of a rural area. So it reminds me a little bit about being back home and, and next to the cow pasture. But uh, other than that, no, that's a sound unlike anything else. No, it's just unique. My grandpa used to, you know, ring a, ring a cowbell at my game. So I, I, I'm kind of used to that little bell sound. Third down situations, two minute situations, end of the game situations, coming out goal line when you're closer to the, the fans and that type of stuff. You know what I mean? So that's where we really pump the noise up and, and get, get the cowbells ringing and all that type of stuff. But, uh, you know, noise is noise and you got to be able to find a way to, uh, to block it out and still focus in on and, and execute.